Currently, demand for MOD Gibraltar facilities exceeds capacity. The CBF Gibraltar says that's a great problem to have. Commodore Steve Dainton said a new accommodation wing at the Buffadero Training Center is in the program and ready to go, confirming the money's available. He told GBC's Viewpoint, MOD Gibraltar is looking at final designs and is hopeful that the new training wing will be fully functional within the next couple of years. The CBF also said it remains possible that the King's Line fuel depot could be used to give the MOD the ability to store fuel and provide its own refueling services. He said this would be an efficient way of supporting warships that would allow the armed forces to be more independent. They are three quarters of the way through a feasibility study and hope to progress to the fourth stage, preparing more detailed design work with a view to deciding whether to proceed in 12 to 18 months. Commodore Dainton said it would be costly, but there's an increased intent and ambition for Gibraltar, expressing confidence that the resources and investment would be made available if the project is deemed feasible. More generally, the CBF said MOD Gibraltar is in a fabulous place, with the UK investing in Gibraltar to develop it as a global hub, supporting the armed forces.